three teams are battling against each other. One, two, two. Tell me. I said tell me. To win the all-powerful Island Torches. Their only hope of escape. Coming up, the teams face another phenomenal challenge. Good morning, Marty. You can do it. Asad puts his new swimming skills to the test. And why are the teams so excited? from Scorpion Island. Hi, up, I'm Joel, and marooned on this devious island are 16 daring adventurers who must complete a series of amazing challenges in a bid to try and escape. But that's not all. The 16 adventurers are split into three teams who are battling against each other. Only one team will escape. Oh, no, no, stop, stop, stop. Right. The race to escape is almost impossible, and the team's only hope is to collect these. Island torches. They hold a secret power. The power of light. Whichever team wins the most island torches will have the best chance of winning the final challenge because the adventurers will be in darkness. The island torches are their only hope of escape. I'm scared of being alone in the dark. This is going to be an extraordinary adventure. To collect as many island torches as they can, they need to work out the team's strengths and weaknesses. Because each day, our adventurers face not one, but two daring challenges. The first challenge is the Eliminator. Winning that takes you through to Double Jeopardy, where they continue to battle it out for that all-important island torch. As it stands, Team Claw have one torch. Team Venom also have one torch. And Team Sting have three. But can they retain their lead? So what does the island have up its watery, rocky sleeve today? The next challenge is Relentless River Run. In the icy waters at the base of the terrifying Skeleton Falls, the island has strung a line of giant hammocks and the teams will be racing across them against the clock and each other. How would you do in this challenge? Claw and Venom will be competing in the Eliminator for a chance to take on Sting in Double Jeopardy. And, of course, they'll also be trying to win all-important Island Torches. Playing Relentless River Run for Team Claw. It's Ailey, Oliver and Millie. They'll be pitted against Team Venom. Jeremy, Harry and Imani. Remember, only one of these teams will play against Team Sting in Double Jeopardy later on. The pressure is on. Are you ready for this? Yes! yes. Ailey, your team. Looking good? Yeah, very good. Millie, the pressure's on. Yeah. How are you feeling? You look scared. Um, I'm only really scared because I don't know what it is. Um, I think once we know what it is, I think we'll be a little bit less nervous, but it just looks really impressive, and I'm just wondering oh. what it is. Oliver, how are you feeling? Uh, iffy. I, I'm, I'm worried about... Um, what it is, because I've no idea what it is. Uh, it might be running across the map things. I don't know, but I, I'm excited because this is my like sec oh, my second challenge. Let's go to Venom. Jeremy, how are you feeling? Good. We're gonna do it today. I'm pumped for it. I want to do it. It looks, looks, it looks all right. Uh, should, should be good. Harry, we're gonna go to you next. Um, 
Your face looks a little bit worried. Um, how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, I'm actually excited. At first, I was a bit like nervous, but now I've seen it properly, I think I'm a bit more excited now. I want to do it. But... And whilst I'm talking to Harry and I'm talking to Jeremy, Imani just keeps looking over at that massive waterfall. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Um... I'm really excited about the challenge and I can't wait to find out what we're doing and it looks really good. Well then teams, the challenge standing in between you and Double Jeopardy is Relentless River Run. At the base of Skeleton Falls, the island has strung a line of eight giant hammocks. The adventurers will have to swim out to them and scramble along to reach the eighth hammock and grab the flags. When they fall off, the next member of their team goes while they swim right back to the start. Staying on will be incredibly tough because the hammocks are very unstable. The teams have four minutes to collect their three team-coloured flags. The team which does this quickest, or if the time runs out, the team which has the adventurer who made it across the furthest, wins. So you now know what happens in Relentless River Run. Yeah. You ready to talk tactics? Yeah. yeah. Let's do team talk. Two of these adventurers have struggled in previous challenges. When Claus Ailey took part in Triple Decker, she hurt her leg and was out of action. Tyson, where's Ailey? Uh, she's... She's off with the medic because she's been injured. Now it's her turn to step up. Will she be strong enough? For Venom Zimani, last time the challenge proved too much and she had to give up. But then it started to get really hard and I couldn't put myself. My arms just buckled and I couldn't carry on. She's determined to win this for Venom. Um, this time, I think I'm going to be more motivated and um, I don't want to let my team down again. How will they do in the Eliminator for their teams? Right then, teams, talking is over. Venom, are you ready? Ready! Claw, are you ready? Ready! It's time for the Eliminator. Up first, it's Millie, Oliver and Ailey for Claw. Three, two, one, go! And they're off. Millie is making light work of that freezing water, but that cloth is slippery and hard to get hold of. The island has been very tricky. These hammocks are far from stable. Oh, this could be bad! But no, she's pulled herself out. But that was close. Oh, that's it, she's fully in. Millie made the mistake of pushing off from one of the hammocks, which swung away and just dumped her in the water. Another strong swim, this time from Ollie. to twist. Oh. He's in! Oh. Catastrophe! The island has made these hammocks slippy, tippy and totally unstable. Something Claw need to overcome fast. Next up, it's Ailey. This could be a problem. Ailey can't seem to reach. Oh, she's got it. She's up. Interesting. She's gone to one side. Oh, no. It hasn't worked. She's in. As Ailey pushed off one and leapt towards the other, the hammocks just parted, resulting in splashdown. This is second time round for Millie, and she needs to make it count. The man wants to do it a lot. Go on, Millie! Time! 
Good advice from Ollie. Oh, no! Disaster! She just didn't listen. And she's in the drink. Millie slipped as she leapt and fell short of the second hammock. How frustrating. With just over a minute left on the clock, surely now it's all down to Ollie. That is a giant leap! Oh, it's not good! Ollie is really struggling to get up. Remember, it's not like pulling yourself out of a swimming pool because the sides keep twisting and moving. Oh, oh, oh yes, he's dragged himself on! That's my Ollie! This is good work. Bringing the hammocks together is smart thinking. OK, guys, 30 seconds. Coming up to 30 seconds. Ollie! Yes! It's now all down to Ollie. Can he make it to the flags? Oh, yes! yes. 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 Can, can you push the bottom no, there? He's got it. He's got, he's got, he's got the ribbon now, hasn't he? Oh, he's got it. Finally, Claw had a great technique that's really working for them. But with just seconds left, is it too little, too late? Five, four, three... Two, one. Oh, you're out of time, guys. You're out of time. Well up, this was an incredibly tough and frustrating challenge for Claw, with none of them making it to the flags. But who got the furthest? Ailey never made it off the first hammock. Millie lost it between the second and third, but Ollie made it all the way to the sixth hammock when time finally ran out. It's really hard to get on the first one, and it keeps swinging. But the dip more difficult thing is, when you're crossing over, the hammocks tip, so you have to keep over on the other side. And it's hard to get onto one and then the other, and to keep doing it over and over again. It really tires you out. But you ran out of time, which means you didn't manage to get a flag. Yeah. How are you feeling overall? I'm quite proud of myself. I'm a bit gutted that we didn't get any flags at all. We could have done with one. Next up, it's Team Venom. Jeremy, Imani and Harry. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Jeremy's up first. Jeremy's out of his depth and there's nothing to push up against. But no, he made it look easy. That was nicely done. Well done, Jeremy! Come here! You can do it! This is really impressive stuff from Jeremy. Go on, Jeremy! Oh! oh. All right, he's on, he's on! That was so close. That was Just look at that white water. Jeremy is fighting freezing currents, plus the spray from that waterfall must be making it much harder to breathe. But he's looking so determined. Where is he? I know, I've got the one he's on. He's on to hammock six. This is as far as Oliver got, and that was Claw's best effort. So can Jeremy get to seven? What an almighty struggle! He looks exhausted! Can he go on? Oh, this is not looking good! It's tipping and he's off! A really amazing effort from Jeremy. He was fast and determined and he almost made it to the end. Can Imani go one better for Venom? The pressure is immense. Both teams have got one member to the sixth hammock. If Amani can get to the seventh hammock, she'll win it for Venom. Amani, you can do it! But Amani is already looking exhausted. This can't be good.
Her technique looks clumsy, but it's working. At least for now. Come on, Imani, you can do it! This is her third crossing. Oddly, in the crab position. Oh, and she's slipping, she's slipping. She needs to shift her weight quick. And she's just made it. Just a minute left on the clock. There isn't time for a third run. So now it's all down to Amani. What pressure. You don't have much time then. Enjoy a minute. That's a lovely leap, but she really needs to speed things up. To win this, Imani has got to make two more crossings, and with just 30 seconds on the clock, it's going to be incredibly close. Oh, she's on to number six. Can she get number seven and win this? Look at that face of determination. All she has to do is pull herself up. But, oh, no, she's let go. It's all over for Imani. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up, guys. She looks exhausted, freezing and totally devastated. Harry, you didn't get to go. No, no. How disappointed is that? Uh, quite disappointed, yeah, because I really wanted to do it, and I'm, I'm like really, uh, like, I just really wanted to do it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, Harry, it's so hard. You should be glad you didn't get to go. Uh, Jeremy, what's it like? Oh, oh, tiring, really tiring, yeah. And then you've run out of breath really bad. Like you can't, feel like you can't breathe, yeah. I wish we had more time. Yeah. yeah. That was such a tough challenge for Claw and Venom. Let's review the key action. Relentless River Run pushed both teams to their absolute limits. With nothing to push off from and nothing stable to hold on to, all of our adventurers struggled. The pounding water, strong currents and watery mist made things even tougher. All of them looked exhausted, and despite some really determined faces, none of them could make it to the flags. Ollie crossed to the sixth hammock for Sting, and Jeremy matched it for Venom. And then Amani's amazing efforts almost got her to the seventh hammock and a win for Venom. But she was too tired to pull herself up. Devastating. So the teams are neck and neck. But who has won? Right, I can tell you, that both teams managed to get to the sixth hammock, all right? But obviously, one team did it faster than the other. And that team is... Venom. <laughs> so... Claw, commiserations. You put up a gallant effort, though. I thought it was a tremendous fight. You were exceptional. Well done. Don't be too disappointed. Yeah. Venom, remember that Sting, your opposition in Double Jeopardy, were watching your every move. So what tips have Sting picked up that will help them in the Double Jeopardy round? The team watched Claw first. Oh, yes! This looks hard. Oh, this, yeah, this, this does look really hard. They discuss who should play from their team. So, do you reckon you three should do it then? I don't know. Really, it seems that we have all the options to do it. We said we could do it, but it's up to everybody. You're your team captain. Yeah, you should make a decision, but Savannah's got to agree with it as well. I think Savannah has found this challenge extremely hard. Yeah, to reach up to it. Then it's Venom's turn. Part of Sting's advantage is that they get to pick one person who plays against them in the double jeopardy round. Who would they pick? He's doing well already, Jeremy. Yeah, that's really fast. He's on the third one. Oh, come on, this thing. Let's not pick Jeremy. No, Jeremy that's a bad can idea. Do it. She looks really tired out there like, from the swim. Yeah, she, yeah, she does. Oh, she does not look like she's just. Come swim. on, Imani, you can do it. Who would you say for the fruit? I don't know. Imani got really tired out quite quickly. 
Yeah, yeah but the thing yeah, is, we didn't, we didn't see Harry, so we don't know what Harry's like. Yeah. That's a really big disadvantage. We've got a good team here, I think. Team Claw have lost the Eliminator round again. They go back to their camp. Millie has an idea on why things keep going wrong for Claw. So the most upsetting me the most is all the arguing and stuff. And where we say, oh, who wants to do this challenge? Everyone puts their hand up. Oh, I don't think you'd be good at this challenge because it might be better for taller people. And then they get all stressed out and then start crying. And then it's all like, oh, so you, you think I'm rubbish? And then they say, oh, no, that's not what I said. That's exactly what you said. Uh -huh. It just gets so stressed when everyone argues. And one person says another thing that leads on something else. And somebody else makes it bigger and elaborate on it. And it just gets so stressful. It's horrible. Millie is not the only one feeling the strain. Ailey is beginning to take things very personally. Everyone will see us too sensitive because, like, they often criticise me and see, like, they always say I should go last. <laughs> Claw realised that someone in their team needs help and support. I'm actually, like, I am actually really proud of you doing those challenges because, like, you know with the skateboard one, yeah? We saw that both of you were quite nervous because it was quite high. Yeah. And I was actually really proud of you for actually, like, because you did fall over a couple of times, that you, like, kept going. I think that um, one of your strengths is that you do not fear quite a lot of stuff. And that takes quite a big person, a real strong person, to say, I'm not afraid of this, I can do this. Thanks for that, guys. I feel better now the team have told me what my strengths are because like, I thought I was a bit useless because every challenge, apart from the first one that I've tried, like we haven't even got through to double jeopardy, so I kind of felt bad with myself. I'm kind of learning not to take it so much to heart because criticism helps sometimes. So I'm happy to be in Claw and I hope we win tomorrow's challenge because tomorrow's a new day. Team Claw! Poor Claw, really disappointed. Third time they've been knocked out of the Eliminator, but they put up a real brave fight. But don't take my word for it. Take a look at this. Team Claw took on Team Venom in the Eliminator round. All the adventurers were determined to win, but facing the pounding waters and the icy mist from Skeleton Falls, they became exhausted quickly. Both Oliver for Claw and Jeremy for Venom made it to the sixth hammock but neither team grabbed their flag. It was simply down to time in the end, and Venom beat Claw. So, coming up next, it's Double Jeopardy, where the challenge is much tougher and the stakes are raised for the adventurers. Team Venom will take on Team Sting as they battle it out for an island torch. But as ever, there's a lot at stake, especially for Team Sting. If Team Venom win, not only will they collect today's Island Torch, they'll take one from Team Sting too. Which means Venom and Sting will be neck and neck, so it's all to play for. Well, let's cut straight to the chase which three players are going to be taking on Relentless River Run in this challenge? Bradley, Stevie and Ricky. And why have you chosen them? They all work really well as a team. They're all really good coordinated and they're all really strong. They're all confident that they can do it and they all really want to go. Right then, Venom, Assad and Tani, you haven't played yet, so you will play in Double Jeopardy. However, we need one more player that's already taken part. You don't get to choose that. Sting you get to choose. So, Sting, that player, who's it going to be? We're going to take a big risk and go with Harry. Harry? Yes. Harry hasn't played yet. I know. So why yeah. are you taking a big risk? We think he'll be more inexperienced than Imani and Jeremy because they both did really well and they showed they were good at it. So we don't know whether Harry's going to be good at it or not, but he might, he not, he might not be. We don't know. Now, remember, you are playing for those all-important island torches. Sting, you could go away with four torches if you win this challenge. However, if you win, Venom, you will walk away with three island torches. Teams, are we feeling confident? Yes! 
Venom, ready! Ready! Sting, ready! Ready! It's time to play Double Jeopardy! In the icy waters at the base of the terrifying Skeleton Falls, the island has strung a line of eight giant hammocks. The adventurers will have to swim out to them and scramble along to reach the eighth hammock. But this is double jeopardy, and so the island is making things extra hard for Sting and Venom. This time, the teams will be going across the hammocks head to head. It's going to get totally hectic on there. Rival adventurers are really going to get in each other's way. If they fall or get knocked off, the next member of their team goes while they swim right back to the start. There's eight minutes on the clock for Sting and Venom to attempt to get all of their adventurers over all of the hammocks. This challenge could be a real struggle for Assad. Until a month ago, he could only swim five metres. He's been having intensive lessons, but how will he cope in this fast-flowing icy water? I can't cut my swimming fees because I'll try and I'll do it and everyone will encourage me like I encourage them and they'll help me get, uh, get on track with, with my swimming. There's only one way to find out. Three, two, one, go! And they're off. First in, it's Tarny for Venom and Stevie for Sting. Come on, Sting! With two people, the hammocks must be twice as tippy. Go on, Tani! Come on, Stevie is edging into the lead. Come on, Stevie! Go, go, oh, and Tani's off! And Stevie is beginning to struggle! Stevie! Go! She's off too! Pulling on the far edge of the hammock caused it to tip, dumping Stevie into the water. Something to avoid on her next go. The second run has started, and Bradley has already managed to overtake Venom's Harry in the swim out. This is great pace. Imagine how tough this is. Every move is a struggle. The hammocks are slippy and tippy, and the water keeps trying to drag you under. Seriously tough. Bradley is crossing to his fifth hammock. Harry really needs to speed up. Bradley's half slipped, but managed to haul himself out. Oh, and Harry's really starting to struggle. And that just about... Oh, he's down! He's in! How disappointing. Harry avoided falling so many times, but he just couldn't hang on. How frustrating. Now it's Assad's turn for Venom. This is amazing. Just a month ago, Assad couldn't swim five metres. And look at him now. He fearlessly launched himself into freezing, fast-flowing water, and he's giving it everything he's got. This must be terrifying for him. He's made it to the hammocks, but treading water is all he can manage. Will he be able to get onto that hammock? Meanwhile, Bradley's sizing up his final hammock. He knows he can't afford to... Oh, no! He's down! After all that hard work, he misjudged that final hammock, and in he went, splash down. Oh, no! So it's back to the start for Bradley. Venom's Tani has spotted that Assad is really struggling and has swum out to take his place. And Ricky is starting for Sting at the same time. Rather than rushing to cross at the same time as Ricky, Tani is hanging back and taking her time. Oh, and that 
is smart because Ricky's weight on the hammock seems to steady it, making it much easier to cross for Tani. Ricky is doing all the hard work. Tani just waits and then crosses behind him with ease. But Ricky is starting to speed up now. Can Tani make it on her own? Yes, she's made it. Can Ricky be the first to make it to the finish? He has so much to lose. He's done it. Brilliant. Now it's Venom's Harry and hot pursuit of Stevie. Stevie slipped in, but can she hold on? Stevie, you did really well. Oh, no, no. Oh, no she's yeah, touched the previous yeah, hammock. Yeah, it's back yeah. to the start for Sting. Stevie couldn't get any sort of grip on the hammock. It just shows you how tough this challenge is. On, Harry. Harry is still oh, treading Stevie. water, but Venom need him to get going, and fast, oh, because Sting's oh, Bradley is racing out, and he'll be onto the first hammock in no time. Harry's grabbing the hammock, but Bradley is zooming ahead for Sting. Harry is really struggling. This is a massive test of upper body strength. Oh, and Bradley is having trouble now. The more he leans back, the harder it's going to be to hold on. Oh, and he's off again. After an ultra-fast start, Bradley just couldn't keep the momentum going. He never got a solid grip on the second hammock and came crashing down. Stevie! So Stevie's up again, and she's already overtaken Harry. This does not look good for Venom. Harry's just sitting there, but Stevie is racing ahead. A great leap. Now can he pick up the pace? Go on, Harry. Go on, Harry. With a minute and a half to go, this could still go either way. The teams have both got one adventurer onto the final hammock. And though Stevie's ahead of Harry, she's still got ample opportunity for a dunking. Good work. Yay. Yay. He's right in the middle. Go, Stevie's reached the halfway point, and this means she's got to make it across the wildest part of the water. It's going to need a mighty leap. She's going for it. And yet she's made it. Dynamic work from Stevie there. Imagine the sheer courage this jump must take. That water is moving with ferocious force. You do not want to fall in there. seems to have ground to a halt again, but Stevie is making this look easy, and the eighth hammock is in sight. Yes, she's made it! All right, guys, 30 seconds left! Bradley's heading out again, but as the challenge reaches its climax, Sting have got a commanding lead. So all the pressure is really on Harry now. If Fenham are going to have any chance of winning, he needs to make it to that last hammock. Harry! Harry is really pushing himself here. It's a great effort, but there's so little time left. Five, four, three, two, one, game over! Victory for Sting, and they are delighted. Go Sting!
us what it's like in that water because it's not easy. No, it's freezing and plus you have to be hard because you have to go through the, ri the river and then the river is like pushing you forward. The, the current brings you this way and you have to, you're struggling to reach up to the thing. Yeah, it's really cold and all. It, it's hard, it's really hard. Tony, you made it look so easy. Ricky was doing my stuff like... <laughs> Every time, because like you're on the platform, every time he jumps, it flings back and forward. Every time I was waiting for him to jump, so it flings back, so I just jump on it, wait for him to do it. <laughs> so you cheated? <laughs> no, I'm using the advantages of people in front of you. She, was, she did amazing, really. And as you said, <laughs> she made it look easy. Uh, me and Tony, we had a really good race. It was like, oh, it was, when you were getting across and you had to grab on, you were just like, and you were so tired. But when I got to the end, I felt really good about myself. But I, Really liked it, really enjoyed the challenge. Team Sting! Incredible, Sting pulled out all the stops, and did you see the determination on Stevie's face? If you didn't, check out the replay. We've done it! We've done it! This challenge was tough on both teams. All the adventurers struggled, some more than others. Venom's Assad gave it his best shot, but he only learned to swim a few weeks ago, and the icy water's strong currents and spray were just too much for him. So he had to give up his run to a teammate. The adventurers continued to struggle, and it looked like no one would ever make it across until Tani and Ricky made it over in quick succession, one for each of the teams. They were quickly followed by Sting Stevie. Harry could have evened it out for Venom, but just ran out of time. So they took on Relentless River Run. Double Jeopardy winners are Sting! Yay! Guys, you're a team member sure. What's happened to Stevie? Um, well, she it was really tiring out there to pull yourself up. So um, she was just uh, a little bit tired and she's just gaining her strength back again. But she's really happy that we won still. So it's a mixture of emotion for her. Yeah. Tiredness. Stevie did really well as well, didn't she? Yeah, Stevie was absolutely brilliant. Um, I could see on in the middle of the of the rafters, she was getting really tired, but she she carried on and with some encouragement and she carried on and um, she did really well and, and won it in the end. Now you were the first one to get on the final hammer. Now I think Stevie benefited from that slightly. Um, yeah, she she might have benefited from it because I was already there and I could help her up and things and she was seen and she if. If she didn't get there, we wouldn't have won. And because she got there, it meant that we won the challenge, so it was a real incentive for her. And what was your technique? Um, what I did was I, I got my balance when I was on the hammock, and then I, I grabbed the other one, and then jumped on, and then grabbed, grabbed some of the hammock, and then pulled myself up. It worked quite well, and um, I did really well in the end. So then, Venom. So close, yet so far. Assad, you look really disappointed, pal. Yeah, really disappointed. I never felt this disappointed in my life. I mean, as I was going, I just, I just said to myself, I have to do it. I, and then as I got closer to the hammock, I tried to reach for it, but it didn't work. And the river was pushing me uh, further from it. Then I just I had to do it one more time. I just didn't do it, but then I had to swim back. And that really disappointed. As I was watching, I, I noticed that you struggled a little bit in the water. Now, I know the current is very strong in there, but would you say that um, you, your swimming is as strong as you thought it was? I, I seriously thought I could swim better than what I just did now, but I just felt tired quickly. I just don't know what happened. OK. Harry, you finally got to have a go. Yeah. What did you think of it? I thought it was really fun, actually. It was really hard, but it was fun at the same time. She like jumping on, get splashed by the waves. It'll be good. Let's not get too down because out of a team of three, two boys and one girl, <laughs> the only person that made it to the other side on that hammock was no, Tony. Yeah. What was your technique? Well, Ricky did all the work for me. Uh, he was using his little technique thing, and I was just waiting for him to jump off so the thing would just flick off, so I could just jump on top of it. Uh, yeah, so that was my technique. Just waiting for him to do all the work for me. I think I call it the frog technique. You were literally leaping with all four limbs going like this. <laughs> but you, you looked like you enjoyed it as well. Yeah, it was really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. The current was really strong, so I can understand what these two boys went through. But I am a very strong swimmer, so, yeah. You're happy? Yeah, I am happy, okay. yeah. Well, it's time for me to officially announce that the winner of Double Jeopardy, again, a Sting! Woo!
it's time for you to gain another island torch. Let's light it. This means Team Sting are now in the lead with four island torches. This will help them in the race to escape. Another island torch for Team Sting. Guys, back to your camps. Off you go. Well done. It's been an exhausting time for the teams, but it's that part of the day when Sting, Claw and Venom vote for their new team captains. And today's winners, Team Sting, are up first. This time I'm voting for Ricky, not only because he's the only person who hasn't been captain, but um, also because like, he's always a really nice person and he's really funny. Savannah, because I think she's uh, been motivational and I think she's done really well. And I'm going to go for Ricky. I think he's definitely shown how well he can do in challenges and I just want to see how he can do as being a team captain. Today I'm going to vote for Bradley as captain because out of the lot of the captains that have been so far, I think he did the best job. Um, I'm going to vote for Ricky today because he is the only one that hasn't been captain yet. I also think he'd be a good captain, so it would seem very unfair not to vote for him. Things, it should rightly be his turn to have a go. How will Team Claw vote? I'm going to vote for Ollie, because I know he's already been captain, but I think he did a really, really, really good job. And I think out of everybody, he, he really deserves it. My new um, vote for Team Captain is um, Millie, because I think she'll be very demanding but like she won't be too strict and but she'll be in control. I would like to vote for Ali as the team captain because he motivates us. He is quite strict and he's very organised. Now I'm gonna say that I'm gonna vote for Millie because she can lead the team well in challenges to come and in camp. Now I think I'm going to vote for Ollie again because he was a good captain and he did help our team. The next captain of Team Claw um, I'm going to vote for is Tyson because last time he was the captain I think he did a really good job and when people all had different opinions and were sort of arguing over it he managed to sort of put those opinions together and come up with a good solution. Now it's Venom's turn. This time I'm going to vote for um, Jeremy because he's the only one of us that um, hasn't been captain and it was a tie between me and Jeremy last week and he um, really kindly gave it to me. I vote Jeremy for the next team captain because he's funny, he's a good, I think he'd be a good team leader and he makes good decisions. This week I'm voting for Imani because I think she did really well in the captain's challenge and I want her to do well again. Now I might vote for Jeremy because I think he's like, he's always there for the team, he's always encouraging his own team and saying that we should win. I think that Abadi was a really funny captain, but this week I've been a vote for Jeremy because he hasn't had a go yet. It's time to find out who's going to be the new team captain of Sting. Let's find out the captain. And the captain is... Now it's Team Claw's turn. And the new captain of Team Claw is Oliver. Hey. Yes! Look at Oliver. Who has Venom decided to be their new team captain? Every day, the team captains will select a bamboo pole. Whoever gets the shortest must take on a task to win a reward for their team. You gotta win me! Go, 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 go. It will require common sense, good coordination, and they must be prepared to do anything for their team.
time for Oliver, Jeremy and Ricky to take on today's captain's task. Whoever selects the shortest bamboo pole will be doing the task. Who will it be? Oh. Oliver. Will it be Jeremy? It's Ricky. <laughs> Everyone's excited, but watch the task. Draw your enemy. Ricky has to draw three of his rivals. To pass this challenge, the other adventurers must correctly guess each one. Oh, oh, I'm Asad. They get the first one right. That's too correct. He only needs one more to claim today's luxury. Who do you think he's drawing? Today's challenge. I'm so glad that um, Ricky didn't choose me. That he doesn't like. Legend. What luxury will Sting have today? As a treat, the island has supplied the team everything it needs for some arty fun. I'm going to draw Scorpion Island. For me, this is actually the perfect one. This is exactly what I like doing. How do Claw feel about being left out of the treat? I'm not jealous at all. We've just we got a barbecue, we got a hammocks, we shared the barbecue and the hammocks. So like they should they should like be like proper sports people like share it with us. I'm gonna draw on one of these, I think. You guys, I reckon that we should have one of them for the other three. What? what are you talking about? No. Well, we can't really share the paints. We could give them one of them, but then we wouldn't be able to do anything with it because they'd all be fighting for paints and stuff. No, don't give them any. Okay. Do Venom think the treats should have been shared as well? I think Sting are enjoying their life. And stuff because we would if we had them. If we had it, we'd be like, oh my gosh, it's kids and stuff. Claw share all their stuff with us, and not all we like, but a fair amount. But Sting, they they'd be like, oh, you can have one, and they get to draw in their spare time. I'm doing sort of like an abstract thing, so I'm not really good at drawing like pictures and stuff. I'm really pleased that we got um, this treat because I think it's really just a nice treat, just a nice thing to do in it. Night falls on Scorpion Island. At the moment, Team Sting are in the lead with four island torches. Claw and Venom only have one torch. But the next challenge is just around the corner. The drums echo over the island. All three teams are being called to the island fire. Sting, Claw, Venom, good evening, how are you? Yeah. Good. Good. Good day? Yeah. Yes. So Ricky, you're the new team captain, yeah? Yep. How do you feel? Um, yeah, we've had a we've had a really, really good day today. We, we won the uh, big challenge in double jeopardy, which means we're getting a violent touch, so now we're on four and we're we're whooping everyone. Isn't somebody missing from your uh, your team tonight? Um yeah, Stevie's missing tonight Tell because... me what happened to Stevie. Um well in the challenge, I think she she put everything she had in, and um, I think she just tired and. She all right? Yeah, I think she's all right. She did extremely well today. In the yeah, she did she really was well. Yeah. Oliver, team captain. Howdy. Second time running now. Yep, yeah, they must love me. You've lost three eliminators in a row. Thanks for bringing that up. No, but I mean, I've got to, I've got to bring it up. Team Sting are having a flyer at the moment. You're going through a really bad patch. Well, I think, I think at the beginning, we did really well. But we bit, went a bit downhill. Um, 
Well, uh, a lot downhill. <laughs> you, you, you went very downhill, didn't you? Steve. But are you going to pull it back up yet? Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get my team together and uh, we're uh, all uh, making good progress and uh, we're, go we're going to try our hardest tomorrow. All right, Jeremy. Yes. Feeling all right? Yeah. We lost the double jeopardy today, but we tried our best. We lost by an inch, but it was a good challenge. So Sting, Claw, Venom, team captains, place your hands on the ring and reveal the name of the next challenge. What's it say, guys? Death charge. Depth charge. Mm, Ricky, what do you think? Well, maybe you charge into the jungle. I don't know, chopping <laughs> things down and, I don't know, in the depths and... Oliver? Um, I think it's something, like, where you've got to do with water and you've got to, like, dive down into water or something. So, Jeremy, you're normally good at this. Um, depth charge what is it okay I reckon I'll be down at the river where we were yes um, today and uh, I reckon that we'll be diving down like charging and have to collect things and come back up and there'll be a time limit and they might be heavy we don't, I don't know well you may be correct but you may be totally wrong so it's time for you to discuss tactics with your teams away you go so then, we now leave the teams discussing what they think the island's next challenge is. And you know what? They're not far off. They're not. They're close. Real close. In fact, this close. In the shark-infested waters off Scorpion Island stand two unfinished paddle rafts. The teams will go head-to-head -to, -head to locate the missing cog pieces and make the boat paddle mechanisms work. It's going to be a frantic test of teamwork, puzzle solving and brute force. How do you think you do in this challenge? So once again, Sting, you bypass the eliminator. When's this winning run gonna finish? Well, no, no, tomorrow. no, 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 we don't think it will finish tomorrow. <laughs> OK, so it's gonna be we Claw do. versus Venom tomorrow in the eliminator. Yeah, we'll beat them again and then we'll beat them. Claw? Let's find out who's playing Depth Charge. The flame has faded under three of the island handprints, but three are now smouldering brighter than ever. These are the ones selected to play by the island. Taking part in the next challenge, Depth Charge, will be Jemima, Millie, and Tyson. Millie, uh, you were very good two days ago. Thank you. Uh, now tell me, are you looking forward to the next challenge? Are you going to be an all-rounder? Are you good at everything? Um, I'm not really that good at everything. I'm not a very fast runner, and I'm not too fast a swimmer. But I'm actually really surprised that the island's chosen me again. I don't really think it's around some of the other teammates, especially Suki, as he hasn't had a go in quite a while. But I think that I'll probably like miss out the next couple of challenges. Jemima, Hello. you playing? Yeah, um, I'm quite confident in the water. So I think if it is something to do with the water, I think we could have a chance. Brilliant. Team Claw, step down. Team Venom, step up to the island rings. Because Tani is feeling too exhausted to play, four of Team Venom will be up for selection. Playing the next challenge for Venom is Assad. Harry and Imani. So, Imani, you're brilliant today. That's two in a row for you. How are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling quite excited to find out what it was, and um, I hope it's um, another water challenge because I like um, challenges in water because um, I think I'm quite good. And which Imani are we going to get tomorrow? Are we going to get loud Imani or are we going to get sad Imani? Loud. Loud Imani on the challenge. 
Assad. There's no need to ask which one we're going to get tomorrow from you. Uh, you've got to give it your all tomorrow and you're quite happy, yeah? Yeah, because la the last challenge I was really disappointed and now I'm going to stop blaming myself and show the, the, show the island what I could really do. So I'm happy that the island gave me a chance just to show. But today we saw someone that potentially was slightly scared of water. What if it is another water challenge? How will you face this? I just think that I have to do it for my team and for everyone that's encouraging me and I'll just do it and work hard on it. I'll just overcome the fear that of water. So playing for Venom tomorrow, Assad, Harry and Imani. So then guys, the Island Fire has decided your destiny for the next 24 hours. It's time for you to return back to your camps. Have a good night. Good night. Team Sting are on a winning roll at the moment. Who is going to stop them? Is it going to be Claw or is it going to be Venom? There's only one way to find out. You need to join us next time as we try to escape from Scorpion Island. Next time, there's tension in Team Venom. He keeps having a go at me like, on the channel. It's like how, how I did it wrong, but I didn't do anything wrong. Everyone's holding their breath, but why? And the challenge couldn't be any more exciting. Oh, no,